Hi, I'm Justin from Amy's. Today we're going to talk about the shot and how to get a good shot and what, what we've done wrong to get a bad shot. But first of all, we'll talk about our equipment that I'm using today. Once again, I'm using the BFC TCI uh, twin boiler PID control machine. The reason why I like this machine is I can turn my steam pressure up without increasing the heat on my head to burn the coffee so I can run nice strong steam pressure but keep my group head at the perfect temperature. I'm also going to be using my favourite domestic grinder which is the Matcap M2M grind on demand. Once again commercial teeth, nice compact domestic size. So when we do a shot there's some things to remember, okay? We need to load our porter filter really well and consistently to get the good flavour in our shot. If we do things wrong or not, not quite correct, it will really affect the way it pours and the flavour in the cup. Once again, we've got good quality filtered water, good quality beans, but we can still mess it up simply by one of the three things, either not enough or too much coffee in our porter filter, our tamp pressure too hard or too soft, and of course our grind size too coarse or too fine. So to do a, a pour that pours too fast, it'll taste very sour at the end. I'm simply not going to put enough coffee in. So once again, I'm loading it with my fingers catching the overspray. I have much less coffee in there. I'm going to tamp. I'm even going to crack my pack, okay, and then put it on the machine. And we'll see that it's going to pour out really fast. I even haven't changed, stabilized the temperature of my head. Starts off watery, now really runny, much lighter color, okay. No sort of thick syrup to it, it's just a watery consistent. See, and you can see that it's a really light, thin cremid coffee. This one will taste really sour in your mouth. And now to demonstrate a too slower pour. I'm going to make my coffee too fine, so here on the M2M I'm going to adjust it much finer. Now I've just adjusted my grinder so I need to clear the throat of it, so I'm just going to run some coffee through and dump it and then grind the coffee that I want. The grinder seems to be going quite slow now, I have it too fine. So Okay, so now we'll fill it up. The coffee is, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, is coming out in like little balls and quite clumped together. Okay, so if you can see in there, it's like a whole lot of little clumps of coffee and it's way too fine. So it lo even looks different as you're doing it, which is one of the signs that you've got it too fine. Another thing you can do, of course, is feel it, okay, and if it, a good grind when you tamp down on it will feel slightly crunchy. This one is so fine it'll actually leave my fingerprint in there. So I'm going to do everything the correct way, it's just purely my coffee grinder's the wrong size. Settle, level, Tamp. And onto the machine. And we probably won't see coffee for a little while. It's going to take a long time and it's going to sound like the machine's hemorrhaging or something, but it's all perfectly normal for a too fine a grind. So we're waiting. Okay, here we are starting to pour now. Obviously this has taken way too long and you should have stopped by now and started again. But if you continue to pour with it, it's going to look really nasty. Okay, so 
Even just looking at the coffee in the cup, you can see it's really oily. In fact, it doesn't even look like coffee. It just looks like dirty cooking oil. Okay, that's going to taste terrible. So there's some good shots and bad shots. Obviously, you want your coffee to taste good. That's why I drink it. I love coffee, but not coffee like that.